Hey guys, welcome to Gadget Kada and today we are going to review the latest app by Google, the Gboard. As the name says, it is a custom keyboard and it was first released exclusively for iPhone users only and now it is available for Android as well. So, go grab it at the Play Store as soon as possible. Why miss such an awesome app? So, let's just get into it and let's see. So, I'll take Hangouts and I've already installed the Gboard and let's start with it. So, here is the default layout of the Gboard it is yeah, as you can see it is pretty standard it's pretty standard as that of the Android keyboard itself so it's awesome it's pretty awesome like you have the normal features of an Android keyboard you can type like that for example I'll type quick J and then press space so it has the autocorrect feature itself so I typed quick with the J and it corrected it to K so that's it, that it has the uh, autograph feature, it has swipe feature as well, so I'll put quick swipe feature as well, so that's really awesome, then it has many other features as well, but the main and the important feature is the Google search itself, so it has, why, is, why this Gboard is so special, and since it's by Google it has to have got some speciality, right? So. It's special because it has this Google search feature built into the app. You all you got to do is press this G symbol, and then you can search for anything. Like for example, uh, if I search weather, I'm in Kerala, so it'll give me today's weather. I can share this directly, so I can do like that. Then, what if I am going to go out in tomorrow? So, I'll just search. I want to go to the beach. So, what I'll do is, hey, let's meet up at the beach tomorrow. So, it even gives us suggestions as the normal Android keyboard would so send that and I want to check what the weather would be tomorrow so what so let's just google it up tomorrow tomorrow yeah weather tomorrow so it's give me a weather of that the weather is sunny so it's a nice time to go to the beach so let's just share the weather is awesome so let's just and then let's see then what are features it has like you can search weather you can search pictures here let's just search good morning okay you see that we can directly send the links to these pictures not the pictures but it will send the link to the these pictures and we can send beautiful codes anything so it is very useful in while chatting with someone and it's gonna be really handy so let's just okay that's for the Google search you can search things like for example yeah let's just search it even gives you suggestions the google suggestions so let's just search kerala so yeah it gave me the most frequent uh, frequent suggestion that is kerala blasters they won the game right so let's just search okay so there's a game tomorrow of the ist kerala blasters versus atletico de kolkata so let's just see the isl standings so that's the ISL standings, the ISL news. So in short, you can search anything, anything you search in the Google browser in the keyboard itself. You don't have to open the browser, go there and type there, search there and then copy and paste it here. You can even share that. For example, ISL news. Okay. So I want to share this. Just paste it there, send it. So that's it, that's how you share, you use the Google search inside the Gboard. So that's it, that is one thing. The other feature is GIFs and smileys and emojis, sorry. So in emojis, you can directly search for emojis. That is a really awesome feature. Like for example, if I search for fire, you get all these emojis. You can type that. Then if you search for dance, you see if you get the dance emoji. Then, if you search for good, uh, nothing, water, 
let's see yeah you get the emojis containing almost all the emojis are right then you can search for almost anything USA you get the USA flag you have yeah let me try something Indian so let's just say namaste yeah it already found out I would be typing namaste so it gave me that emoji that's it that is an awesome thing about emoji searching in emojis then it has a gif feature also that is really awesome like let's just see you see that you have recently used ones by not everyone so let's see high five check this out So guys, you can see as I have sent a uh, GIF. This is really awesome. You can send GIFs and other stuffs in the using the Gboard. So let's just try something else. So I'll just try some other GIFs as well. I have a clapping one. So this they give already give suggestions for normal GIFs. So I'll just try the Snape GIF. Okay, this is really hilarious. I hope you can see that so okay yeah so that's GIFs I'll try some more GIFs it's kind of fun Thumb yeah this is awesome hey yeah, this one yeah, love this one. <laughs> okay I hope you can see those GIFs awesome right so this is gifs using the gboard there are other features also no so these were the features of the gboard now there are other features like using single hand like if you press this g it will give you the settings for the gboard and this is the single hand feature where you can type using a single hand for example quick it says wi-fi <laughs> so quick yeah so that's it okay, for that's for single hand features so as you can see and you can shift this for example for a left handed person you can use like this right hand person you can use like that so that's for that single hand feature then it has one of my favorite features is like themes you can set your many themes like you can set a blue theme So you can set many themes like blue theme, green. There are many colors to choose from. So I'll check. first I'll choose a blue theme. So as you can see, my whole keyboard has returned. I'll just turn to the full keyboard. So the color is changed. Now you can have a custom theme also. Like this is the my image one. Hope you can see that my image i've already created one using my own image so this is my own i captured an image a few minutes ago so i can edit it let's see so this was my image they'll ask you to scale it then you can adjust the brightness that is brightness of the image actually so i'll just put it in here and save let's just see how it looks so you can make your hope you can see that you can make your own custom yeah so this this is my image so you can make your own custom images and custom keyboards so this is really awesome you should try it really great app by google so so that's it you can change the to the default android app by pressing this button and you can choose any other keyboard you want so that's it. It is a great app by Google. Do check it out. From Gadgetkata, we'll give it a, a four kata stars. So that's it. So that's it from Gadgetkata. It's a great app. Do check it out. And do if you like this video, do subscribe to our channel and do like this video. So that's it. Bye bye from Gadgetkata.